Today we will see program 3 of unit 2. As per question. Extends the program 2. So for that we need to open our previous program 2 of unit 2. Open Visual Studio click on file then open, website. Choose location where you saved previous program. And open it. If all data is valid then store it into a table employee of database organization. Go to the solution explorer add new item. From box, add SQL server database and give name as organization to it. And add it. Now from server explorer you can see organization.mdf. From it, right click on table folder and click on add new table. Now here create fields for storing all values and give appropriate data type to it. And uncheck the allow nulls checkbox. Here as per question make the employee number. Field auto increment so for that go to the columns property. Find identity specification and set his identity property to yes and make sure that identity increment is set to 1. And then set employee no field as primary key. Then save the table. Now we need to write code for storing information into table from employee form. Go to the u2p2.aspx.cs file. Add header file as using system.data.sql client. Set connection for the database using SQL connection then. Write following code inside button 1 click event. Use open method to open the connection to database. Store insert query inside string object. Give it to SQL command with connection. Now using parameters object add values from the corresponding controls. Now pass the execute non-query method to execute query and close the connection. Now as per question. Display all records from an employee table with proper formatting using a repeater control. Put one repeater control in design. Now go to u2p2.aspx.cs file. Create one method as get data and Write following code to select all values from table and bind repeater control with database. Call this method from button one click event and inside page load event with auto post back. Now we need to create templates for displaying values so for that. Here you can see I have created header template item template and footer template. Inside this header template I have created table with CSS class as my class. Within table I have generated heading for the entire table as employee record using call span attribute of table. I have used th tags for giving heading to particular field and applied some padding style. Within item template using tr and td tags I have displayed data from database using data binder. And in the last I have closed table tag inside footer template. Now I will copy these code from here and will paste it inside repeater control. And for proper formatting. 
I have created CSS class, so I will also copy these and paste it inside head part. You can apply any style as you want and you can also get this templates code from another controls templates code. Now I will debug it and check the output as when I enter data inside form and form and click on submit button data will be displayed inside repeater control. Note. I will upload video for allowing delete or update record from repeater control. Next time.